Welcome to Garden Devotions. I was reading in Psalm 103, verses 13 and 14 the other day, and it says, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are but dust. You know, God made us from dust. And so we're really in and of ourselves we're we're worth nothing but we gain value purely because god has chosen us he's chosen to love us and that's where our value comes from it comes from him it comes from him choosing to love us that's where it comes from and when i'm gardening i like to think about the dust of the earth is where we all came from and we all go back to it in the end but even the dust can be important as long as God loves it. So thanks for stopping by. I'm going to be planting, these are um, some containers I have prepared that I'm going to plant with a few plants that I got from the nursery the other day. So that's my job, that's what I'm gonna do. And I invite you to join me as I do this. I'm gonna make sure the camera is all set up and then we'll video it and then I'll speed it up. Okay. Yay! And we're done. It doesn't take long to plant the containers if you already have the dirt in them, but it does take a little while to get the dirt around. Um, these containers are from last year, so I didn't have to get new dirt. I do have some compost that I'm going to put on top. Last year I tried to mix it with the dirt. I dump out the container into the lawn cart and I'd mix it up with the compost and made sure everything was good before I put them back in. And frankly, that's too much work and I'm not going to do it this year. So this year, I am pretty much stirring up the dirt I already have in there after I take out all the weeds that grew over the, the fall and the winter. And I'm just going to put the compost on top. So we'll see how it works. Anyway, these are some Brussels sprouts. I really like Brussels sprouts. I do. As long as you keep the soil really rich in the containers, you should be able to do two Brussels sprouts in each container. Uh, they're about a foot long and about 10 inches wide, I think. And they, they are pretty much five gallon buckets, I think. Of course, they had cat litter in them, so it, they don't measure it like that. But I had uh, Brussels sprouts, two in a container a couple years ago, and they did marvelous. So as long as you keep the nutrition in there, they should be just fine. Over here, I've got some cauliflower that I got from the nursery too. And so we've got them in their forever homes now and we'll just let them grow. I'm gonna water everything as soon as I get done, but I wanna put the camera away before I do that. And I have one more container that I'm gonna put something in, but it's a short container. It's one of the three gallon ones. And I'm not real sure what I'm going to put in it at this point. I have to look over my handy dandy list that I wrote on the back of a shopping receipt. When I got them, I just, I, my dad took some of them and I took only a couple others. So that's why like, like this container was only two because I don't need four cauliflower, but I do love Brussels sprouts. So I can stand four Brussels sprouts. Um, so yes, here's my handy dandy list of which ones are which in the container. So I had to refer to it. Um, you know, I, well, most of them I can tell, but it's a little hard to tell from the cabbage and the uh, cauliflower at this point. So I wasn't real sure on those. And I also have uh, some different kinds of peppers. 
So I just like to keep track of them. And I did write them in with my marker, although I have the fine point marker instead of the bigger one, which I thought I had. So the ultra fine marker, not the fine marker. So that's okay. They'll be fine. Uh, they'll grow. And I can pretty much tell what they are once they start putting on fruit. That's just the way it works. So I, I'm not too concerned about it. I'll know what they are once they get bigger. But I do like to have the peppers separate so I can keep track of them a little bit better. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by and join, joining me for some time in my garden. And I hope you enjoyed this and that you will click the like button down below and that you'll share it with somebody today and you'll subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.